Hey, how are you doing? So this video is going to be um, deeply entrenched in metaphysical aspects of the word. Okay, so the word is this whole book, which is uh, uh, the logos, which is um, uh, the logic, because D Jesus comes as the logos, as uh, explained by Plato and Socrates, that the whole essence of nature has to be manifest in a person one day and that was an early manifestation of jesus so this is about the word and this is about the letters so this book uh, especially in this new dispensation it is composed of letters which are the letters by paul and a letter is a particle that forms a word so the first letter that we ever heard was let there be light that was the first letter that let light appear so the light is the wisdom of God, the mind of God, the Son of God, because God is the Father of light. So let there be light, was let there be knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Let there be the Word, because the Word comes as the Son, S-O-N, who is the S-U-N, which is the light. So, uh, right. So here, the first thing is going to be the last thing that we're going to be talking about, which is in this, in this book I'm reading from... Um, uh, numbers all right so this is very blurry right I, I was hoping it's gonna auto focus on it but then I'm, I'm reading from numbers chapter 25 verse 18 right over here so um, yeah so it's not it's not something to do it like that but then I'm gonna read it so you can just go through all of these scriptures and um, understand the essence of the word because once wisdom comes into a person it is only manifest through the words that a person speaks because wisdom is the word so it says for they vex you in their wiles wherein they beguiled you in the matter of pure and in the matter of cosby the daughter of a prince of midian their sister which was slain in the in the day of the plague for pure's sake all right so this is speaking about how, uh, all right, this is a conclusion that comes after a certain story. So I've started at the end, like Star Wars, yeah. I've started at the end, and then we can go back to the beginning and reconstruct what this is actually talking about. So the whole story, in essence, is speaking about how the children of um, Israel were in a certain place and a certain king went to a man called Balaam, the son of Beor, which is a B, all right? So I'm just gonna write this down just for for the visual effect, since this is all visual in any case. All right, so Balaam went to a son called the, uh, Balaam is called the son of Beor, and a B starts, and, and this is a B, okay? So they went to the son of Beor, and then they asked Beor to curse the children of Israel. But then Beor, who was good at cursing apparently, was not able to do that because God told him not to. So this, this uh, man, Balaam, went uh, and took them to another place, a high mountain of Baal, which is the part of his name, which is Baalim. So Balaam took them to the Mount of Baal. And this is in Numbers, okay? This is in Numbers. This is... Um, uh, chapter 22, verse 41. So, and it came to pass on the morrow that Balak took Balaam, Balak is the king, took Balaam and brought him up to the high place of Baal, and thence he might see the uttermost part of the people. So he took them to a place of Baal, took uh, Balaam the son of Beor. So, so this is him uh, trying to convince this person to curse the children of Israel, which he was not going to do. And then after that, in verse uh, chapter 23, verse 28, And Balak brought Balaam unto the top of Peor, okay, and looked towards uh, Jeshuan. Okay, so this is a B, right? This is a B. And then when we flip it, when we flip it, it becomes a P. Okay, it becomes a P. So um, here, this is uh, speaking of Balaam, son of B, your, taking them to a place called P, your. 
So when we read the metaphysics in the Bible, we have to understand that sometimes a person is a place. So this is applicable to the children of Noah, children of Ham, such as uh, we have the four children of Ham being Egypt, Cush, Put, and Canaan. So we know that there's Canaan, and that's a person who is given the, the name of the land. And Canaan was the person who was cursed after... Uh, put uh, after Ham saw the nakedness of his father and then ha uh, Noah woke up and then he's like hey now I will curse your son Canaan he shall be a slave among slaves and this is the Canaan who in the number in this book of um, the Bible and in the book of numbers is uh, being invaded by other people so they are going to inherit the land of Canaan the Canaanites. So this person is a place, just like how this pure is a place. Okay, this pure is a place, and um, this is um, just an, a concept that is first of all to be understood. So a person can be a place, like Egypt. Egypt is a person who now has the name of a place or state. So it's a state of mind. So. The same way that Kush is a person and a place. So this is how we should understand this in terms of uh, how the Bible is uh, integrated. So when we are looking at this uh, in the metaphysical aspect, what we're looking at is how the person becomes the place, the place is the person. And all of this is interchangeable. All right. So this person was going to a certain place to curse them and one of the places was called pure okay so so when we are going through this again right uh and uh, chapter 25 and verse 3 and J israel joined himself so to join is to take one take another and merge so israel joined himself he joined the b and the p okay he joined himself unto Baal Peor. So the, the, the place was called Baal, the high place that they went to, the first one. The second place was called Peor, the second place. So Israel joined himself unto Baal Peor. Okay, this is in verse 23. And Israel joined himself unto Baal Peor, and the anger of the Lord kindled against Israel. So this is a merger, this is joining. And uh, when we look at Baalim, the son of Beor, okay, we're looking at the word Baal, okay, Baalim. So it starts with Baal, and then it goes to the son of Beor, Beor, the B. So here we should understand as that uh, in the word of God, everything is integrated in that when uh, something is happening. Like, let's take Abraham, for example. Abraham and Sarah, his wife, were given a letter by God. The letter altered everything and changed the spirit that they had with them. Because at first of all, Abraham was called Abram. Abram. But then he was now called Abraham because he was given the H, which is the H-A-M. So he became as Ham. Okay, Ham, Ham. And then Sarah also got an H, which is representing the breath of God. All right. The same way that uh, Saul was changed into Paul. This is one letter. So one letter is very important. And when we go into the story of Paul, it is written in the book of Acts that when the people were trying to hang them, they ex they expressed them as being, uh, they, ex they described them as being the people who are turning the world upside down. So turning the world upside down is referring to turning the B into a P. This is why I'm starting with the brunt of it actually saying for they vex you with their wiles wherein they have beguiled you in the matter of Peor and in the matter of Cosby the daughter of the prince of Midian Midian means the middle which is um, what is being spoken about which was slain in the day of the plague so this uh, woman the Midianite woman was slain in the middle of her body by in her belly which is the Baal the belly because belly is belly cause which is actually war okay so the bow which is the the one who rebels the bow the rebel 
So uh, the Midianite woman was slain and that uh, stayed the plague. So when uh, the word is speaking about how people have been vexed in the terms of pure, it's actually speaking about this aspect in um, my understanding, in the sense that uh, the place is a person, the person is a place. Okay, so let's get deeper into this. So if you understand the first part that I've been expressing, how a person is a place and the place is a person, now getting deeper into the metaphysics, okay, getting deeper into the metaphysics. All right, so I'm going to be reading from this book. So now I'm just going to read the most uh, overlooked chapter, which should be the most important uh, verse or scripture, which I have never actually heard uh, being dissected ever. So, so then I will try my best to do this uh, with brevity because I am a man of a uh, few words. <laughs> Yeah, this is coming from a person in the video. But yeah, so, so, now this is going back to the beginning. Okay, so here I'm just, uh, so now I'm just switching gears, okay, since I've uh, given the foundation of what this is about. So, not to be vexed in the matter of pure, not to be vexed, because people, even though they see, they will not see, they will hear, but they will not hear. This is the vexation. So, um, in chapter 10 of the book of Genesis, Genesis is the book of genes, the genetics, which is speaking about the tree of life, which is uh, the tree in the garden, which is the family of the, the family tree. The tree of life is the family tree because everyone's family tree expresses who they came from, what they are. This is the tree of life and this is our genealogy. That's the family tree. This is the genealogy or the genesis, the genetics. So when we're speaking of this, we're speaking of the origin of every race on the face of the planet, the origin of the human race and species and everything, the genetic material. So um, Adam came first and then uh, there was a flood and then Noah was the first man after Adam. So Noah is a parallel of Adam. So there's a video where I explain Adam and Noah and there's also an audio which I will do my best to uh, attach to this if I uh, yeah I'll, 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 I'll do that so that you can you can see the story. However, so the table of nations is uh, given through Adam's son. So the people who come out of the ark are eight people which are Adam Adam's three sons and his uh, and their three wives and Adam and his wife so they're eight in total and from these people the whole world is repopulated so from this we have um, the story where Ham uh, st stumbles upon his father and sees just sees his nakedness he sees his nakedness and then Ham's son called Canaan is cursed right because he's actually he'd actually seen the nakedness of his father and um, after this transpired um, so many uh, uh, conclusions were made based on the fact that uh, people understood that Ham was black okay so this uh, son's son was cursed and then this is Canaan so the curse of Canaan this is why Canaan's land was taken Canaanites were slain uh, the land of milk and honey is the land of Canaan so everything was usurped because of that curse and then oh, because of that curse and then um, this was also attached to people who's who was who was uh, who were also black because this was uh, uh, per uh, perceived to be a curse on black people which is in air which is a vexation which is um, the confusion or which is the delusion that God and Isaiah says that I will send a deep delusion into the world so this is in so many books like um, right here let me let me let me just flip to this page Colossians or right, Thessalonians and then if you read Thessalonians which uh, all right for let's just say Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 6 therefore let us not no for they sleep in the night uh right not thessalonians 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 2 all right i should have found it by now um yeah so yeah yeah so this is in thessalonians as well 
this is speaking about how Jesus will come with salvation. Don't be drunken. Oh, I'm looking at Thessalonians 1. Okay. Okay. So, this is speaking about let no man deceive you by any means because as a son of perdition. Um, so, Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 11. For in this cause God shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So this is speaking about the same vexation of pure, okay? For this cause, so this is in Thessalonians, this, that I labored to find. <laughs> so this is in Thessalonians, um, 2 Thessalonians uh, 2, verse 11. So uh, it's right here, so it's blurry. But then it's saying, and for this cause, okay? For this cause, um, God shall send them a strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. So why would God go to the extent of sending a strong delusion to people? Okay, so this is what we're talking about. This is metaphysics. This is crazy talk. So, <clears throat> so now, when we're looking in chapter 10 of Genesis, what we're looking at is that story of Ham and his son Canaan. And then this actually perpe uh, uh, perpetuated the Atlantic slave trade. After that colonization after that the world war one world war two and now we're in world war three world war three is a war in the third world so um what happened is this that um in chapter 10 verse 6 of genesis genetics the genetics where everything generates it says in uh chapter 6 and it says and the sons of ham so Ham was a person who was cursed, okay? The sons of Ham were Cush, Mizraim, Phut, and Canaan. So he had four sons. And four is a number of the Tetragrammaton, but that's in another video on the numbers of uh, creation according to numerology, which I go into how the different numbers work. And um, so he had four sons. Cush, Mizraim. Mizraim means Egypt. So Cush is the land of Cush. Mizraim is Egypt or the land of the Egyptians uh, foot is also foot is spelt like this P H U T foot okay so sometimes this H is omitted and then it is uh, read as put okay because this H is a breath, just like how Abraham got the H, which represents the breath of God. So he had these four sons. Now, when we read further on into this chapter, you see that the Bible now starts expressing how Cush began Nimrod. Nimrod caused Babel, okay? And then um, how Canaan begat Sidon, Sidon, Heth, and all of this. And then it goes on to the son, all of the sons of Ham. However... That's not all. So now we have to see what is not seen, which is the fact that um, we hear all throughout the Bible about the sons of about the sons of Cush. We hear about Egypt. We know about Egypt. We also hear about the sons of Canaan. Okay. So we hear about these three people, but then put is put somewhere else. So put has been never discovered because it's always in the sense that everyone reads this and forgets the fact that Abraham had four children but only three of them are mentioned so the reason why they are not mentioned is because of uh, Psalm 83 okay now this is Psalm 83 I'm sorry it's so blurry but this is Psalm 83 verse 3 but the reason why I'm really going to the lengths of showing you this stuff is so that you can also read it on your own. So Psalm 83 verse, verse 3. So it now speaks about why we are vexed. We are vexed because God put us in a certain place. So they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. The only people who are hidden from our eyes, from our consciousness, are the sons of put who were put somewhere they were not cursed but then they were perceived to be cursed for this reason God has given us the delusion okay so in this understanding first of all I went to the understanding of Beor 
and then from this understanding we get to the to the fact that God is saying that they were vexed by the issue of pure which was a person which was joined as in Baal and Beor, the children of Israel made God angry when they joined themselves with Baal, which is Baalim, which is Baal, which is Baal. When they joined themselves with Baal, Peor, they joined that, and then that made God crazy. This is what you call fusion. This is confusion. Con means like to connect. This is to uh to come together this is con like comic con this is a convention where people come together like a congregation they come together and fusion means to come together so confusion which is what happened with babel the languages were confused so this is actually how they were joined but through this enjoyment through this enjoyment they were enjoying in their own glory through this enjoyment this is when the confusion came about. So this is what the confusion actually means. The merger of all of the languages on the earth, which caused confusion. So when we are reading about the story of Baal Pior, this is what we're talking about, the confusion, which is what's vexing us, which is Babel. So when you talk about Babel, we're speaking about people babbling, vexing. So this Babel is causing us to say one thing while we mean another. Because again, we're talking about the word. So when we use these words, they are in Babel or they are in Babylon. Babbling, like babes, like babies. Ba baby, L-O-N. That's Babylon. And um, this is what's causing all of the confusion. So this is what's causing all of the vexation. Because how we have used the words is actually trapping people in certain uh, confusing dimensions where they are not able to understand and this is the vexation that caused the delusion that caused the deluge the deluge came and wiped everyone so this is why we're speaking about in the days of noah being the last days so the last shall be first the first shall be last so speaking about this is actually fulfilling the prophecy which is being which has been looked over by so many different people and um Really, like if you, I've been trying to find content on people speaking about uh, put, where put was put. So, yeah, we're going to talk about where put was put. But Psalm 83 verse uh, 3 is speaking about thy hidden ones. So he is a hidden one. He has been hidden. And um, we know that he didn't die because the, the, the Bible is always telling us about the... The, the the meticulousness of all of the people here like here here in this verse this is chronicles first chronicles uh chapter 2 verse 33 it says and the son of jada the brother of shammai jetha and jonathan and jetha died without children so if jetha who was not in the table of nations is mentioned as dying without children i'm pretty sure put would have been mentioned as dying without children who is jether how does jether apply okay he applies in this case this is why he is written so that we know that they know what they're doing thy hidden ones so jether died without children and this is chronicle and uh, we also hear about uh, ham kush uh, mizraim and put and canaan in the book of chronicles the first chapter it speaks about that and as i mentioned here uh, put is um, uh, omitted with an H so the breath of it is omitted or the spirit of put is omitted in every consideration that we have this is the delusion this is part of the deluge so seeing they will not see hearing they will not hear and for this cause for this cause according to the Bible in 2nd Thessalonians for this cause God has sent a deep delusion so that seeing they will not see hearing they will not hear so I hope you can hear me and that we can build together all right so this is the first step in the journey to the lost land of put where god has put himself in us so let's go there <laughs>